Mitchell right now. He's up there looking to find a way to use him. Edwin looks to the sideline complete to Terrell. Let's go back to Adnan in the studio. First down. All right, Jones, I just want to let everybody know, just underway is the game that's currently in the watch ESPN app and the SEC alternate network. That will be Arkansas and Texas A&M. That game's coming up on ESPN right here. What's your game has concluded once again the SEC game. That's where you can find it. Jonesy, back to you. That's a critical game here in the SEC West tonight, man. 16-yard game. LSU on Auburn's side of midfield. The field goal does them no good. There's the pass you were alluding to, Rod, underneath to Fournette. But little gain on the play. Trey Matthews there to make the stop. Second down coming up. But you have to give him a chance. You know, give him out of space and give him a chance to be one-on-one. -on -one. He can't be one-on-one -on -one with his back to the to the defender with the ball that's thrown hot. And LSU going to use one of its timeouts here. They've got one remaining. Tonight, after Arkansas, Texas A&M, stay tuned for Sports Center and I with Scott Van Pelt. We'll break down a busy day, the SVP way, you know, the sports news and highlights. I heard that game currently airing on the SEC alternate network. Sports Center with SVP, college football on ESPN, streaming live on the ESPN app and watch ESPN. Second and eight coming up. Some pivotal miscues tonight by Les Miles and LSU. Well, they've had opportunities. They just haven't converted. Almonds, there's a missed field goal. It certainly would have helped them come down this ball game. And then a wide open chart going down the field. They missed that. And then how about Edwin? They had a good drive going, and he just mishandled a handoff. Killed that drive. Those miscues will come back to haunt LSU if they do not win this ball game. This drive right here is the entire season, essentially, for LSU. So you pick that son to make it to the college football playoff. Edwin trying to save the season in space. Incomplete. Burnett juggled it, and he got hit, and he's dragging that leg. That of even more grave consequence than the incompletion and potentially the result of this game. Their star player, their Heisman Trophy candidate, the hub, the key cog and wheel in their offense on the ground, writhing in pain. Well, and it's the ankle. It's the ankle that's been an issue for him through training camp. He missed a game this year, got back last week, seemed to play well, had a couple fumbles, lost one, and then this play here, he's clearly in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. They missed the second game of the season, the Jacksonville State game, to rest that ankle. The hit itself was not that impactful. It appeared to be the landing where he might have re-injured that ankle. You remember, Jonesy, he's, he's been held in check tonight, only 101 yards compared to the 228 he picked up last season against Auburn. Only 18 touches tonight, wow. and critically for LSU, he might not be available the remainder of this drive, the remainder of this game. That's big. That would mean that uh, they'd probably bring in Darius Geis, his backup, who, although talented, doesn't give you quite the elements that Leonard Fournette does. We're going to third and eight here for LSU. Well, just joining us a little for Texas A&M Arkansas. That game being shown on the SEC alternate network. Listen, given where we are in this ball game, this is two down territory for LSU. A buck 38 to go with one timeout. They can't afford to get the ball back to Auburn. Raven Corral split wide to the bottom of your screen. Edwin got work out of the shotgun. Steps up, has a whole bunch of room in front of him. 
inside the 30 out of bounds at the 27 yard line with 1.30 to go and one timeout remaining. An 18 yard scamper by Edwin. Smart, steady play, recognizing the situation. Plenty of time for LSU. Question is, with Fournette out, who is the guy you trust the most to handle the football? Will he end the game watching from the sidelines? Edwin gets rid of it, has his man caught. Out of bounds is Draven Burrell. He came back to make the catch. Let's look at the spot. It's about a yard short of the first down clock running. And it looks like Fournette is going to re-enter the ball game. But in what capacity, I wonder right now. Well, at the very least, as it before. Hopper with a blitz into the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, and uncatchable signals the official there on the sidelines. Durrell working against Davis. And the ball well over the head of Trayvon Durrell. 58 seconds to go. The clock stops. No badly going on down there, but a no call. But what about Malachi Dupree? They haven't looked his way much tonight. He's a guy we talked about. He's an explosive guy, but they haven't looked his way. Tech play of the drive. A season saving drive, perhaps, for LSU. Edling on the slant, complete for the first down. And there's. Malachi Dupree with the catch. They move the change with 54 seconds to go, first and 10. Dupree is thinking, how about that last play? Could have got me there, would have been a touchdown. 57 seconds to go. One timeout remaining for LSU. Dupree in motion. The matchup is still Dupree in the slot. That's the matchup that works for LSU if there's protection. He's working against Ford, number 23. And then goes the other way in the end zone and incomplete. Intended for Smith, the tight end. Pops the clock with 28 seconds to go. Second down and 10. Uh, again, Jonesy, the matchup that works is this one, and they're not seeing it. Malachi Dupree on the safeties. He's beating his man and getting open, but they're not looking his way. At 6'4, he's a difficult target to miss. Les Miles know that this is a critical game in terms of the SEC West. So much riding on this for the Tigers. LSU thinking they want to stay in the race in the West. And they sacked to the 20 by Carl Lawson. Wow. That was huge. And LSU going to its final timeout. It's just Lawson on the right side. You see it. He beats two guys. Fournette with a bad ankle could not help in protection. That's when you start asking the question, if you know you're throwing it, why is Fournette in there? He can't help you in that situation. He can't move. And Lawson just went right around him. And he was almost untouched. That's the third sack tonight for Auburn's defense. And, and again, I, we keep talking about it. Malachi Dupree, the matchup is the guy, and they can't seem to recognize that and find him. Watch here. Who's open? 15. Is, this is a guy who's going to be at least a second-round pick in the draft for our Todd McShay, and we've seen him wide open on this drive, but because they haven't had time or they've looked in another direction, they haven't found Dupree. He has three catches all night for 12 yards. So if you're talking about this LSU offense, and whether it's ready for prime time, ready to contend, the answer is no. It's well, not. They could change the verdict, perhaps, with 24 seconds to go. Or at least move it in the right direction. Dupree is split to the top of your screen. He's the widest receiver to the top of your screen. Fournette at the bottom of your screen. Edley, Dupree, Powering forward inside the 10, clock running with 16 seconds to go and no timeouts remain. They'll get one more shot. Coming up. One more shot. They might be going into the end zone here. They're going to have to. They have no choice. Edling. 
caught. First down, one second to go. There's a flag on the far side of the field. With one second to go, LSU's going to have to get up to the line and get to work quickly here. Are they stealing a play right here during this little lapse in the call? Well, they should be making sure they're ready to go. May not, may not be able to get it off anyway. One second to go. LSU's got to get up there quickly and be ready to snap. Edwin's got to throw it. And in the end zone, caught up. He's out of bounds. What? be kidding me. The Tigers are What? Real late. Oh, yeah, they're going to challenge this for sure. They gotta challenge it. Aren't they? I guess. I guess not. LSU won. That's it, LSU won. 